Hiya. Right, well, a uh, billion summer are out for the evening, so we won't be disturbed. Good. You know, we need to talk frankly. Right, well, uh, sit down, I'll get you a drink. What do you want? No, I'm fine, thanks. Look, I'm not going to push you anymore about who was involved in the car theft. You've made your feelings clear, and I have to respect that. Thank you. The only problem is, we don't have much by way of mitigation. You know, I can stress how much pressure you're under financially, since you've not been able to work since your accident, but... I just don't see how we're going to avoid some kind of custodial sentence if we don't tell them about your diagnosis. No. I don't want to do that. It'll be in the papers Billy and Gemma would find out. Paul, this is madness. I think you should tell the court and you should tell your family. Look, um, I hate the thought of being locked up when I don't know how long I've got, but... I'm not telling anyone till after Gemma's wedding. Oh, hello. Hey, what are you doing back? Oh, Summer had a better offer. She's gone out with Nina and Asher. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're um, pretty much done now, anyway. I'll, uh, I'll call you. See ya. Hey. See ya. <sighs> oh, well, Summer's loss is my gain. Tell you what, why don't we cuddle up on the sofa and watch a film together? Yeah, sounds like a lovely idea. What do you fancy? It's something we both like. Oh, no, we're, we're gonna argue. We've got totally different tastes. You choose shoot them up every time. All right, you choose. I don't mind watching a rom-com, even one I've watched ten times before. OK. <laughs> You sound like a Oh, never normally react like that. It's dead sweet. Just because I'm watching it with you. We went to see it on one of our first days. Oh. I'm just dead happy that we're back together watching this. 